Okay, hi guys, this is Lucas. Um, these are my new presets. I just want to show you what each preset does and how I um, how I use it and how I intended it for you to use. So let's just jump right in. I uh, prepare a few photos that have some variety of lights and colors and just gonna go one by one to show you each preset and just kind of like explain why I chose to uh, set it up the way I did. So, all right, so the my main preset is the Portlander is a pretty straightforward, pretty clean preset. It still kind of has that color palette that I've always liked in my presets. So like the deep greens, kind of the nice soft skin tones. It's a uh, it's much cleaner and brighter than all the presets that I made before. But it's just kind of my go to now. The the oak one is very similar to it. It's just warmer. So you can see the difference. Um, some raw files don't really have like much much color in them so the oak preset can make it very brown and sometimes muddy and in some photos like this one that's already very very saturated it just kind of like brings the oranges up and stuff so it's kind of like my signature look for some some photos it doesn't work all the time but i always wanted to have like a nice warm version of the preset that i use the most so jola it's uh, that's probably my most saturated pieces i ever made it's uh, very similar to the Portlander. As you can see, it just kind of brings the colors up again. And so it's like specifically good for photos that don't really have much life in them, whether you shot them like in winter or some like very bad light, or if it's one of the newer camera models that, you know, like the sensors tend to be more flat than before. So it looks a little too saturated on this photo because I believe this is 5D Mark III, but uh, the newer cameras that I'm using now are much flatter, so the Jola is actually my go-to preset now because it, it brings uh, brings the photo back to life. Denim is very similar to Jola again, it's just much cooler. So I, I use it specifically when there's lots of sunshine in the photo, or if, for, if overall like the color palette of the photo is very warm, the denim is kind of like bringing it back to like a cooler side. Um, both of these are very contrasty and very punchy, so like very modern looking. So I, I love to use them for weddings specifically for the, the timelessness. Um, marble though, that's um, one of my favorite pieces I ever made now. It's definitely different than the other ones. You can't really see too much here, but it's just all about like a, the skin tones being soft and the highlights being little, just like a slightly like softer and warmer than the other presets. So that makes it super easy to use on, on most photos. So currently it's my go-to anytime I don't know what else to use, like the, the marble kind of works. It's very modern looking presets. Like the, the shadows are kind of kind of brownish and the highlights are very clean and, and br bright. So it makes everything looks kind of more luxurious, if that makes sense. But yeah, I made it specifically for just to have something that just works all the time. And I use it so often that I created the Marble Minus version of it. It's pretty much the same preset, it's just a little less aggressive. Because I, I noticed that for some photos, when I use the marble, I just always uh, always had to do some adjustments for contrast and black. So this one just has it in it for one click. Nordic, um, if you ever used any of my presets in the past, this one is probably the most similar to all the presets that I've made before just kind of like the signature greens and, and oranges. It's it's very contrasty. This is just kind of like a modern spin on all my old presets. So the color palette is the same. It's just much cleaner. There's like less less contrast and like less grain and, and overall it's just like sharper, more brighter preset, but the, the, with the same color palette. Even the tone curve is very flat. So the whites are actually white and blacks are actually black. Like there's no no like fading out of colors or or tones anything like that so i i just kind of like like using something that i already know the color so well but it works on anything without like kind of crushing it too much now these presets dusk dawn they're pretty much like versions of the portlander and oak they're just very flat and a little bit faded so they don't work all the time but specifically if the photo is kind of harsh if it's in harsh light or if there's just like too much contrast, these are uh, these are just kind of like not adding too much of that like harshness and too much of that contrast. So I use these specifically against um, against uh, uh, when I'm shooting against the sun, or um, with uh, specific camera models. I have like a few Leicas that are very very punchy and like full of colors. So like these presets are kind of muted. Even even when I'm like using my presets to edit iPhone photos, like these usually work the best because they're just like not as aggressive. Ecola is 
um, one of those presets that I probably like, use the least, but like sometimes it just like works perfect perfectly. It's very desaturated. So I use it for photos, maybe like indoors or when there's just like too much like random light bouncing left and right. So like if you have all those like yellow greenish walls, like this one will help kill all the colors. So again, like it doesn't work all the time, but when you need it, like it's there. So specifically for like the indoor or, you know, like when there's just like too much color in the photo, this one, this one is just gonna crush it. Or like if this is something you like, like this style of like desaturated greens and, and yellows, then then yeah, go, go for it. And now my three black and whites, Ilford is just super simple. Um, it's pretty much just like a photo converted to black and white with some texture and contrast added. I noticed that in the past I used to edit much aggressively, like my black and whites specifically. And then looking back, I feel like it doesn't really age that well. So I wanted to have a black and white preset that's super clean and, and like doesn't really do too much. It just kind of converts the photo in black and white and, and adds some sort of character to it. I feel like that's gonna be the most timeless way to edit and like even now like the photo look like it, it could be taken like 50 years ago and and stuff like that the tri x is like a just a more aggressive version of it the whites are whiter blacks are more black so it just kind of like works for photos that are already kind of flat and it's not too aggressive or too um grainy or anything like that delta on the other hand is like much more like vintage vintage looking presets um yeah, it's like very faded, so like for some photos it might give you kind of a nostalgic feel. So I didn't really use it for weddings as much, but for something like specific that I would want to go for that look of like the film with lots of grain and kind of fade, I would use that. But yeah, for most parts I kind of stick to the Ilford. And then I have a few tools, pretty straightforward. I didn't want to make too many of these just because there would be like a chaos in the Lightroom. And I just wanted to make a few that I use all the time. So this one kills grain, this one adds grain, lens correction on off depending on the on the lens you use. That can be very helpful. And then punch is my favorite one. It pretty much just like adds lots of color and contrast to photos. So like if you have a very flat edit, like let me use one of my flat presets, like this one, and you feel like there's not enough life in the photo, the punch kind of like brings the photo back to life. So like for example, combining that with like some of like the most colorful preset is gonna be like a little too much for this photo, but like sometimes like if you have nothing else to work with, like kind of combining one of the most colorful presets with like the punch adds a lots of lots of color back into into the photo. Shadows, it pretty much just kind of like crushes highlights and brings up shadows, so it works well on photos that are very dark. For example, like this one, if I reset it, use the preset, and then click the shadows, it just kind of brings it all up. I'll just make it a little warmer, a little darker, and, and yeah, this, this will be my edit. So just super straightforward, just kind of brings the shadows all the way up to 50 and highlights it down to minus 40. And yeah, texture, the one is just kind of like messing up with the clarity and sharpness of the photo, so it doesn't work all the time well, but like especially if there's like a lot of architecture or if the photo is kind of flat, then it adds like little little something to it, like brings back like the, the little details um, I feel like maybe like in this photo it might be kind of well, uh, might be working well. This kind of brings the detail in the grass and all that stuff. Yeah, so let me use a different photo in like a different setting, different colors, and just kind of go over these presets again real quick so you see the differences on like a different colors. So again, Portlander, kind of my go-to, very clean, bright, but like still kind of like desaturated and, and kind of warmer preset. Oak, the warmer version of it. You can see like the skin tones are much different. Jola, much more co colorful, colorful. And even like the highlights are kind of more muted. So it kind of brings the photo back to life. Denim is the same version, but like much cooler. Uh, sometimes I kind of mess around and like use the denim and then bring it, bring the warmth up just to kind of like get the different tones in the photo. But, but yeah, definitely like I, I like using the denim more in like a sunnier environment than this. Marble, my favorite preset, you can see this much cleaner and brighter and uh, like the little reddish shadows and just kind of the warmer, clean whites. So yeah, I'll do something like this. Perfect. Let me reset again. Uh, Nordic, you know, my classic Alkaeolic, just, just kind of more modern spin on it. So it's a uh, so a decent amount of contrast, decent amount of color, nothing like desaturated, but it's just supposed to like work for, for 
for most environments and, and still kind of bring the color palette that I like. Dusk, Dawn, very flat presets. So for this, this photo, it doesn't really do much. It could have the desaturated preset and then the black and whites for Tri-X Delta. Uh, this photo could be interesting because it's like a perfect light, but there's lots of color in it. So all the pieces are gonna look kind of good. Portlander, again, kind of clean, simple. Maybe I'll just like make it a little warmer. Perfect. Let me reset again. The oak, it's already gonna add lots of warmth. And like the skin tones of the oak are very, on more like a yellowish side. So specifically like works well in like a very, like a weird kind of purple light. It kind of like brings the skin tones back to normal, I feel like. Uh, Jula, again, more colorful, kind of, you know, simple looking. I love the skin tones and the contrast. Denim, much cooler. Marble, just like bright, modern looking preset. Marble minus. Nordic, you know, the classic LKO okay color palette. I would probably use Nordic for this one the most, especially like when the light is perfect and the colors are there, then Nordic pretty much just kind of changes them to the palette that I like. All right, Dusk, Dawn, very flat. Ecola, very desaturated. And then black and whites. All right, let me do the same thing on the, this last photo be, just because this one has lots of greens. So it's gonna gonna show you kind of like the greens and like the whole forest vibe of it and the skin tones. Porlander, yeah the classic look, I probably wouldn't change anything. Oak, much warmer. Again the skin tones, you can see the difference in that, much like yellowish. Jola, denim, marble, much brighter. Nordic, dusk, dawn, Ecola and the black and whites. Yeah, so I made made this set specifically for like situations when the sun is not always consistent. So like all of these photos are kind of like there's lots of lots of shades, so the colors are already working. There's nothing really we struggle with. But like sometimes, like in situations like this, which I feel like I shoot in this environment all the time, like it's always been like kind of harder to edit for me or like I use some of my presets and then I had to go make some adjustments. So I made all these presets specifically so that I like work on situation like this, like this like backlit situation, kind of like a harsh contrast. So like something like Joel, I would probably work well. You can see, or like even like the marble, which makes it brighter. And then I would probably use the punch to kind of bring the whole um, contrast back. So like this is like before kind of flat image full of light. Now this one kind of brings the details back. So I specifically, specifically had light situations like this in mind. There's another one, like this happens to me all the time when you kind of get the, when you're like shooting against the sun, close to the sunset and you kind of get the, like that hazy blue light. It also like depends on the lens, but like my Canon lenses do this all the time. And it's kind of, there's like not much color happening in the photo. So like using some of these pieces like the Jola that brings lots of colors and warmth back to the photo is perfect or like the marble, it makes it kind of brighter and warmer. So when you see the before and after, it kind of like kills all that weird purple haze and like adds lots of light, life to the photo. Um, yeah, let me, uh, let me actually go to this different folder. These are photos from ambassadors of Meridian presets. Like they sent all the raw files. So I was like testing my presets on all of these random photos in different light environments and from different cameras and like even different countries and all that. So I just like want to go over a few photos and just show you how I would edit them using my presets. And yeah, maybe like even go over adjustments I would make. So let's start with this one. Beautiful photo. It's kind of dark, kind of warm. So I would like start with my go-to preset Portlander. It's not too much contrast there, not too much warmth. So this looks good to me. I just lifted up the exposure, but just to give you an idea of the other preset, what they would do to like a warm, dark photo like this. Oak would make it, would make it a little too warm. Jola is a little too colorful. Denim looks pretty nice because it kind of, you know, makes the grass a little cooler. So it's a little moodier, a little more cinematic. Marble, nice, bright and clean look. It looks awesome. Nordic, a little too warm maybe. And all these soft presets, they're kind of nice. The Ecola, the desaturated look, it's definitely a look. 
like maybe this is something I would use like a few years ago, but like for a photo like this, I probably wouldn't go for these actually look like this. Again, like my my vision for this set was to make it as timeless and easy to use as possible. So this preset is just kind of like a bonus. All right, black and whites, looking good. Um, yeah, let me go over like this, or oh, this photo is like a good, good example of like kind of crazy light. So they're perfectly lit against the sun, but like the colors you can see is kind of blue and there's uh, lots of contrast happening. So I think like something like Portland looking good or like even like the marble, if you make it warmer and show like the before and after, like this kind of like a one click solution. It kind of like brings the, the shadows up, but keeps the blacks black and also brings the highlights down. And overall, like the marble is like very soft around the highlights, so like something like Nordic would be much harsher, as you can see. Or something like oak would be like much warmer, so it kind of kills the blues a little bit. So if you make it warmer and this is like your style, like then you can go for it. But yeah, again, just kind of like a one click marble, warmer, and then this is before, this is after. Oops. Okay, this um, this photo is like a perfect example when you don't really have too much to work with. It's probably like taken in winter, so the the light is kind of cool and and um, it's shot against the sun. So there's just like not much life in the photo. So like using any of, uh, any of these presets would make it look kind of flat and kind of desaturated. So so like I know that already. So I'll probably go for one of my more colorful presets like the Jola. And to like add even more, I would like click the punch to bring lots of color back. So now just like two clicks and see the before, not much color, not much life and after. I always click the double L, which turns the light, lights off. You can change the color of the lights off mode, but I always do this after edit because I want to see my photo against the white background. So it's just like a little trick I use again before, after. Um, this photo is interesting, um, the architecture and the whole like texture to it so if i use preset like the the portlander maybe i would use the shadows that brings it all up maybe i can make it a little darker now and then this would be a perfect uh, opportunity to use the texture preset it just kind of like adds clarity and sharpness to all these details so again before after i just used the portlander preset use the the shadows tool and the texture and here we have it um Let's go over this photo. Yeah, this is this photo has a lot of color in it, but it's kind of dark. So if you bring it up, every time I see a photo like this, when there's all these colors, I like kind of I don't have to like worry about the preset. Like anything, it will kind of look good. But it's just then it becomes um, about finding the right tones. So Portland looks pretty nice and clean. Joel will make it a little warmer and more colorful. I feel like something like oak would look nice, nice and warm again before after. I love the skin tones. Perfect. Um, this is an interesting photo again, like pretty dark, so I would like bring it up and maybe use one of my warmer presets like the oak. Perfect, maybe I like turn the lens correction on, no I don't like it, off is better. And yeah, perfect, let's see what the punch would do, yeah it's a little too much maybe, but I like it. Let me go over these photos to show you like the different skin tones and different light situation. Um, so this is probably like way past sunset, so it's pretty dark, so I'm just gonna make it brighter and use one of these presets and now it'll be all about like just like finding the right tones for the for the skin and just the overall mood of the image. So the part of that looks pretty good, Jola might be a little too orange, yeah, all right, maybe marble, that looks pretty good, marble minus, perfect, before or after. Um, this is a beautiful photo, lots of color again. So I feel like something warm like the oak might be interesting. That's perfect before or after. Let me try one more, maybe like Nordic. Very similar, maybe even marble. Nice and clean and bright look. Perfect. This one is beautiful, it's pretty dark. So let's lift the shadows up. So maybe I'll use one of my warmer presets again, the oak. Use the shadows to bring it up. Make it brighter, it's a little too red, so maybe I'll make it a little green. Perfect, maybe the texture would bring it all up. Perfect, before, after. And then this photo, it's pretty dark, 
as a raw file. So this it will require lots of adjustments. So if I go for maybe like the Jula preset, which is very colorful, colorful, bring it up, maybe a little warmer before, after. What else do we have here? Yeah, let me find something with like harsh light. Oh yeah, this one's perfect. So the harsh light, obviously, like some presets make things um, look kind of crazy. So as I said, I, I build these presets specifically to work in situations like this. So like, let's just go over these. Portlander looking pretty good, maybe a little too desaturated on the yellow. So even if I bring the highlights down, it's still kind of a little desaturated. Oak might be a little better because it's warmer. Again, you see the difference between Portlander and Oak. Jola looks pretty good, lots of color back in there. Then in the cool one, marble that's looking amazing. Nice and clean and modern look. Nordic, that's probably the one I would go for. Like it still has the yellows. It's still uh, super harsh on the skin. So if I do before and after, again, before, after. Yeah, this is another photo with some harsh light. So let's just make it darker. And maybe like this would be a good opportunity to use one of those softer presets, like the dusk. Again, dusk or dawn, just a little warmer. Can't really see much difference here on this photo because the, there's only like two colors in it. But yeah, I kind of like the dusk. And maybe if I do the punch to bring a little more color back. And now we have before, after. Or even like something like the marble minus might be nice and soft. So if you see before, after, before, after. Perfect. Let's maybe edit one more. This one's nice. Again, lots of color. I feel like something like Portlander would probably be pretty good. Yeah, one click or something like Jola to have more colors. I probably like Nordic as well. Yeah, that's perfect. Before and after. It just kind of brings the shadows up and the highlights down and changes the tones a little bit. My tendencies are always making the photos a little warmer. So I usually like apply the preset, change the exposure, change the, the white balance, and hopefully that's it. Sometimes you need to do some brush work. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you like these presets and hopefully they'll make your editing life much easier. And hopefully like all those struggles you've always had in like the harsh light and indoor light and all that will be a little easier now. Yeah, thanks for watching.